On a video cube page, you can organize your videos into playlists. So we can add a playlist on top. And then if you click on it, we have the option to add videos into the playlist. There we have the option to import videos from your photo library or from files. This way you can use any kind of cloud storage providers. In the file picker, you can select one or multiple videos and import them. You can see there's a loading screen indicating that the video is imported. Now you can delete the video or you can change the order of the videos. If you press on a video, it's blue, indicating that this video is selected. Now you can press the play button on the bottom of the screen and the video starts playing. The video also starts playing in full screen over HDMI. On the bottom of the screen, there's also a timeline, which you can use to scrub through a video. There's also a set of controls to help you navigate through the videos. There's next to skip to the next video, previous to go back to the last video, and there are these plus and minus 15 seconds buttons. If you're connected to an Atom switcher, you can also use the autoplay button. The autoplay button enables us to integrate the live app video queue features into the Atem switcher. If we select the port our iPad is connected to and we cut to the port, we can see the video playback automatically starts. When the video playlist ends, the live app even sends a cut signal back to the Atem to switch back to the main camera. To organize your playlists, you can rename them. Automatically, they're called playlist one, two, three, and so on. But if you long press on a playlist, you have the option to delete it or to rename it. While playback, you can see in the preview window what's sent out over HDMI. This also includes every overlays you may add. If you tap the time code underneath it, it changes to time remaining for the whole playlist. Next, we're gonna look at overlays. <laughs> 